Jonathan Conriquez, former IDF spokesperson. Jonathan, Hamas blames Israel for this. Israel is not commenting. Walk us through how the IDF might be processing all of this right now. Well, I think that uh, good night to you. A very good night, I would say. The first good night in quite a long time for the free world and for Israel. Um, I think that what the IDF is doing now is assessing the situation, preparing itself for a response from Iran, Hezbollah, uh, an attempted response from Hamas, where, while I don't know really how much military capabilities Hamas has left in order to respond, but probably there will be some kind of Iranian Hezbollah joint uh, effort here. And I think that the IDF is ready for that. And I think that the IDF is uh, quiet, just as Jeremy said before, in order to assess the situation and see how this is unfolding and to listen to Hamas and Iranian messaging. We've heard from some people tonight that suggest that this might be an indication that Israel has given up on negotiating or at least a peaceful release of hostages and that the targeting of those like um, Hanye, who is a chief interlocutor of negotiations, might signal a change of events. What do you make of those suggestions? Well, I can see the logic behind it, but I don't think that is the case. Uh, I would rather assume that an opportunity availed itself for Israel to take out one of the most important leaders of that U.S.-designated terror organization, Hamas, and to do it in Iran, if that indeed is the case, then that's an added bonus of um, adding insult to injury to the Iranians when it comes to doing it on home soil. I think that the last meeting that uh, Ismail Haniya did was with the supreme leader in Tehran, at least according to the supreme leader, uh, his Twitter account. Uh, there's a photo of Ismail Haniya sitting with him. And he also uh, participated in the inauguration ceremony of the new Iranian president alongside other Iranian-affiliated terrorists. So I think that what we're seeing here is uh, an important message. I understand that this may complicate the situation, probably in the immediate term when it comes to getting Israeli hostages out. And I, for one, pray and hope that Israel will be able to get all of our hostages out, as many of them as possible, alive. Uh, but, you know, Israeli leaders said, both military and elected officials, they said this, I think, nine or ten months ago. All of the leaders of Hamas are dead men walking, and it's only a matter of time before they will face the consequences of their murderous attacks against Israelis on October the 7th and since. Stand by.